up guys, it is NintendoFan67 here, and I'm back with some more facts about the Pokemon characters. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about Metacross, as well as its evolutionary line, Beltum, and Matang, and also its Mega Evolution, Mega Metacross. So these Pokemon have nerves of steel, and we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about them. So let's go! So here are some facts for the whole Metacross evolution line. Alright, first up we have Beldum. Alright, we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about Beldum. So for Beldum's information, his weight is 95.2 kilograms, his height is 0.6 meters, he is a steel type and a psychic type, his abilities are clear body and light metal, which is its hidden ability, his catch rate is 3, which is also 1.6%, so basically it might have the same catch rate as the legendaries, so you better get prepared if you want to catch it. Anyways, it evolves into Metang starting at level 20, which then evolves into Metagross starting at level 45. And for its entry, instead of blood, a powerful magnetic force courses throughout Beldum's body. This Pokemon communicates with others by sending controlled pulses of magnetism. So that is pretty cool that Beldum is able to uh, communicate with others by using those pulses of magnetism. Now when it comes to Beldum being in the TV series, he's made one major appearance. So for Morrison's Beldum, well, Beldum debuted in Less is Morrison, under the ownership of Morrison. It evolved into Metang and saved by the Beldum. It was always seen outside of its Pokeball. So, it looks like that was pretty cool that Morrison was able to catch that Beldum. Alright, so here is Beldum's shiny form. So basically for his shiny form, his body turns uh, silver with some of those claws becoming a gold color. So that is a pretty cool shiny. And here is the QR code if you ever want to register him into Pokemon Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh and here are some other facts that you didn't know about Beltum is that Beltum's number in the Hoenn Pokedex in Generation 3 and the Fiora Browser are the same which is 190. And Beldum, along with its evolved forms, are the only non-legendary Pokemon to have a catch rate of 3, which is the lowest in existence. So, if you decided to shiny hunt a Beldum in the wild, well, make sure you get prepared with a lot of Ultra Balls or even a Master Ball in case if it starts to struggle. And Beldum's evolutionary family evolves into their next stage forms, the earliest of all the pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Beldum into Matang at level 20, and Matang into Metagross at level 45. So it looks like it's not as bad as, you know, Dragonite or Hydreigon. And Beldum is the only member of a pseudo-legendary Pokemon evolutionary line that only learns one move by level up. And that is Takedown! So, make sure you get a Ghost type in order to prevent Beldum with Takedown if you want to catch it in the wild. Well, it looks like Beltum has some great information there. Way to go, Beltum!